morning. Today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest baguette in the world. So it's very easy. You take tap water at room temperature or a little bit warm. It's a uh, one cup and a half water. Then you're going to add one coffee spoon of yeast. So this is dry instant yeast and um, the inside of the palm of my hand is one tablespoon one coffee spoon sorry so i just put it in the water then i'm gonna add two cups and one quarter flour any flour will do the job you don't need bread flour you just pour it on the mixture and then you're gonna add one coffee spoon salt same thing as for the yeast and you add it on top and now I'm gonna mix all the ingredients together. You see, it's quite watery and um, sticky. This is perfectly okay. And I'm just gonna mix thoroughly. So I don't touch the dough, it's not messy. And at this time when we want to respect maximum hygiene, this is really good and also you don't have to clean the whole kitchen because there's flour everywhere there we go very easy you can ask your kids to do that even your husband and now i just check that i grabbed all the flour in the bottom and on the sides and that's it and now I'm going to let it raise, ideally in my oven, because it's a closed environment where there's no air blowing from heating system or air conditioning. And so I'm just going to let it raise like this in my oven or my microwave, whatever, a warm place. Okay, so now we are about one hour and a half to two hours later, depending on the weather. If it's warm, it can be sh sh shorter or longer if it's cold. And so you see, I have a very fluffy dough. So I'm going to chase the air like this. And again, I don't touch the dough. And I'm going to use this tray. It's a baguette tray. It has little holes in it. It's very easy to find online. And I'm going to use Use some parchment paper and so if I use it like this I'm gonna struggle because it's gonna go everywhere so a very simple tip is that to rinse it under tap water my tap is a little bit further so just use it like this like a piece of fabric and so it will soften the parchment and then you'll be able to lay it down perfectly on your baguette tray just like that and simply I am going to divide the dough with my spatula and I'm going to lay it onto each section like this and I'm going to make three baguettes Depending on the size, you can make larger ones or thinner ones, depending how you like them. Some people like more crust, some people like less crust, so depending. So you can really please anyone. And once I'm here, I use all the dough. There we go. And so I'm going to elongate each one again with the spatula. And you see, because my, my parchment is wet, it's very easy. There we go. If you don't have parchment paper, you can also use a silicone mat, uh, but make sure it's quite soft because I've seen silicone mats that are a little bit too rigid and then you will struggle 
having the baguette fit in each section of the tray. So you see, very easy. And once I'm done, I'm just gonna let it raise the time that my oven is gonna keep it. So I'm done now. And for the oven, I'm going to pour water in a flat tray in the bottom of my oven. Of course, it's cold. And I'm going to heat up my oven to 420 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the meantime, my, my dough is going to raise a little bit and then it will be ready to go to the oven. So something I'd like to add concerning the ingredients. So usually uh, I prefer to use a scale. So you can use a manual scale, you can use an electronic scale to weight the ingredients. So the proper weight of it is 300 grams water and 375 grams flour. And for the rest, it's the same. Why I'm telling you that? Because when you use cups, depending on the uh, density of your flour, the weight will be different and the result of your baguettes will be different. So working with grams and weighting the ingredients is more precise. So you will find all everything in the recipe. I will write it down for you. And uh, also it's a recipe that I developed and I share in my cookbook that is called uh, Cooking for One Dollar, um, where I demonstrate with 70 recipes that yes, it is possible to feed somebody for one dollar. And so now we're gonna wait for the oven to be ready and I'll find you in a few minutes. So it's about, it's been about 15 minutes. So here my tr is my tray and I'm going to, you see it's ready and I'm going just to place them in the oven. If your oven is low, please make sure that when you open it, uh, you don't burn yourself because you see the heat is coming out. And there we go. And it's gonna cook for 30 minutes. And now are 30 minutes later. And here are beautiful baguettes. And so, what you need to do now is very carefully place them like this otherwise you will have some moist underneath and so voila and i'm going to tell you what makes french people dream is that and voila very simple and the most simple baguette in the world bon appetit